Welcome to Harley Designs. Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. It is time. <laughs> Episode Buck 139. Yeah. Uh, buck dollar 39 of the live stream takeover, which is about the value you get out of this show. If you add them all up. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cheers. Cheers to. Oh, we're both having tea tonight. It's tea yep. time. I'm having some uh, imported tea. It's a French Mine's one. Imported as well. It's from Mine's Chinese. Mine's Lipton. But I had to buy it yeah. from France. Uh, check in. Let us know where you're watching from and uh, what your favorite tea blend is. Um, it's been uh, a busy week for me. I actually had to go into the office today and work like a real oh. person. Oh. I'm not, I gotta say, not used to it. <laughs> this is only like the maybe fifth or sixth time I've had to actually sit in the office and work uh, with people in the room. And uh, I, I, you can probably hear it in my voice, getting over a little uh, bit of a cold here. Did you start your stream? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, it's on. People are saying Why? that something's happening. A, a number of people. Tell Matt to actually start his stream. What's going on with Matt's stream? It says live in two minutes. I don't know. Nope. I'm sure it'll it's totally be on. Don't worry. YouTube's everyone's, been working odd. Everyone's checking in. Everyone's saying well, hello. Yeah. So. Uh, if you're on Matt's stream, you can hit Alt F4 to reboot. <laughs> and... <laughs> Computer jokes. <laughs> uh, was this my first date? No, I, I have been in the office a few times before this. Um, uh, lots of social events. And uh, most of my clients, for whatever reason, are like, eh, we like working from home. They're probably the ones with kids or, uh, you know, <laughs> they just don't. Yeah, like, like, if the kids are in school, I'm staying home. I don't yeah. want to work. Um, um, but yeah, no, I, I had to go in. Uh, it's a lot more work than I remember uh interacting in real time with people <laughs> uh started they, three minutes later than josh is weird well oh well whatever the uh so you, you didn't miss anything right exactly yeah how long of a commute is it from you from your house to work uh with traffic it's about uh 25 30 minutes okay that's reasonable. It's city city traffic though, so it's it's literally like if there was no traffic, it would be two minutes. Oh, like just booting it right through the city. But yeah, perfect. Beca because there's always traffic, it takes <laughs> way longer. People don't know how to drive anymore. Yeah, I would like to not go in, uh, but um, you know when clients want to sit in there and work, no other way around it. Got to do it. Uh, uh, skill. Crawler Fab Shop would like to know when uh, when was the last time you put gas in the 4 by e Oh, well, I had to buy gas uh, last weekend or the weekend before. What weekend did I do the final testing on Mayhem? Oh, uh, w weekend before last. Yeah, so, no, not the weekend before last, was it? What day is it today? Yeah, because we I had a free weekend last week. Like, Two weekends ago. Yes. Two weekends ago. When we drove out to the airfield, that's when I bought gas. Ah, because that was a long trip. That was a long trip for you. That makes sense. Now, was that you yeah. had to just put in new gas since, uh, you know, since the Alabama trip? Since April? Yeah. 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 It was like, you got to use some gas, man. Yeah, like, this, is, like this, this stuff's getting old. Yeah. This is old gas. You can't use that anymore. I think that's going to be a problem with those hybrid, those battery operated. Well, vehicles. for people for people who try to just use it as an electric vehicle absolutely there's actually a mode that it goes into if you don't mm. use the gas called form which is like a fuel and oil uh re um something mode. modulation sure yeah remodulation <laughs> anyway uh it's uh <laughs> it it will force the engine to cycle until it decides that you you can you should buy new gas. And in fact, you can trick it by actually like opening the gas cap and just going squirt squirt. And then... <laughs> but uh, yeah, you shouldn't do that. You should actually run the old oil and gas regen stuff. mode. Huh, nice. Yeah. Uh, well, that's I'm glad that you had to go. Maybe? I'm yeah. glad that you had to go into the office for once. My 
<laughs> every day at the office for me is just uh, it's just another roll of the dice. You never know what you're going to walk into. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, is the cardboard bitch going to be there? Is he not going to be there? Is he, there a new cardboard bitch? Yeah, that's he's a uh, he's in college, so he's right now he's like one or two days a week. So boxes pile up. Pile up. The amount yeah. of Amazon packages I get at work. I'm like, yo, <laughs> it's where not is even work related boxes? I'm like, where is Joey, crushing. man? Because because I just walk in there and just huck the box. <clears throat> Packing slip, <laughs> fun, the the bubble mailers, they're all still in there. I'm like, another whopper for the copper. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, this month is sponsored by Vanquish Products and trying something today. We'll see if this is going to work. I made a code that we'll give out at the end. Because it's only going to okay. be good for, it's only good for 25 people. Oh, so oh, magic yeah. codes for special yeah. people for 20, 25 people. First 25. How, what, what's the discount? Was it a discount code yeah. or is it a special gift code? Discount code. It's a pretty decent. One. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Uh, Gunnar Nissen, thank you very much. Hello, all. Tonight's code. This is for beef jerky on the jerky store. Satisfiedjerky.com is hashtag. Matt is gassy. <laughs> I guess it's, it's, it's better than Matt is the shocker. Because <laughs> electricity. electricity. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, today we are going to have Randall from Axial on here in a little bit. We usually yes. try and do that around yes. uh, 630. Hashtag so, Uncle Fart. That's absolutely someone, correct. Someone said that here too. Someone remembered. Yeah, getting a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going to have uh, Randall yeah, from Axial on. He was the project manager of the Mini Capra. Matt also got so the orange. Fox Fox one. Fox. <laughs> so so orange. we're going to talk orange. to Randall about this. So get all of your harassing questions ready. Um, Note that I changed the wheels and tires again on mine. Did you get the class zeros on there? No. Yeah, these are the class zero crawlers. Those are the class zeros? Well, they still look big. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the one nine rim that makes them look so big. Yeah, I like that look. Mine is I my know class you zero. Too. My class zeros are on the way. Um because I'm not taking the class zeros off my Bronco. They're too good. But this truck is I've about to go through a bunch of, of changes for me. Yeah? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, uh you know, mine would be doing the same if somebody would check their messages more frequently. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and do a video on it tonight, I think, and then start that project right after that. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that towards the end as well. I'll let Randall in yeah. on it. But uh, Echo Beast Fost 13, should I get the 10.3 Base Camp or TRX4 Sport? I think we should also... That's a good question. There may Turn be a third into, one. I was gonna say we should we should discuss the entry of the new element. Yeah. And uh, I'm right going after to... I thank Wrapped Graphics for his uh, super chat. Uh, well done again on the Mayhem Challenge, boys. Well, actually, <laughs> that's just me. So you get none of that. <laughs> you get nothing. I'm keeping that for me. Uh, but thank you very much. The challenge was fantastic. Not over for me in my mind. I'm still gonna come back to that one. I have more to talk about on there as well. Yeah, definitely. We'll get to that at some um, point. Um, but yes, that is a good idea because that's something that we should talk about. So the we'll wrap his question in. He said, base camp, TRX4 Sport, or the... He did not say, or he, the element. We are going to add the element. We're going to add the element, SE. Um, which I have right here. Now, as luck would have it. The Element SE. So that came out today. That's Element's new entry, two ninety nine. Um, two ninety nine, which is a great price because none of the ten scales are there. However, none. how did they do it? Well, oof. they they took a lot of value out of that car to try and hit that price point. Yes, they did. Uh, and you can see one of the ways they did it right there. Bushings and plastic links. It's like, ah, oh, I I know. 
I know that you do not like the plastic link or pl uh, no. uh, bushings. I know the bushing like again. That. And I, I'm, I'm honestly mad at you for how you tried to rationalize it in that video. No, no, it's no. Not, that's exactly a perfect rationalization. Uh, it's as far as it's how a rationalization would be made. But we're, we're not buying $50 freaking Walmart toys. Like, no, it's hobby grade that's stuff. Like, yeah, but are... here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I know that you're going to argue this point and you're a much more a performance oriented person than mm -hmm. I am. Nine, nine, ninety nine percent of the time. I'd say 100 percent of the time, actually. Bushings do not offer so much less or so much more rolling resistance that they make such a huge difference with the battery tech that we have nowadays. It's not that big of a difference. And if you are a noob and you have children who are going to be using this, even though it's hobby grade, get them started with something like this, they're going to get it wet and they're going to put it away wet. And if you have bearings, you've just ruined all those bearings on an RTR truck that hasn't been properly maintained. If you are just you Getting will started sure you can okay here's, here's the thing you're going to the shafts are still going to rust as well so sure you're going to have rust there anyway you seize up a bushing or bearing you damn near have a bushing yes it is a different material i know that bronze is not steel like on a bearing <laughs> i'm aware of that trust me uh -huh. we're buying hobby grade stuff i'm not okay with it and that's fine Again, put, it's not, this is not for you. This truck is oh, not for you. I'm just saying like, they took so much out of it to try and hit 299. I'm like, right. Ugh. But I, I applaud them for doing that. I really do. I think it's good to have a cheap barrier to entry for more people to get into the hobby. If they want to put bearings in it later, they can. It still has bearings in the, uh, in the axles, like around the, the, the ring and pinion it still has bearings there. Then it's the same thing. You still have bearings that are still going to get wet. Those axles will let in water just the same. But they're all the way on the inside. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So it makes it harder. <laughs> like. It makes it hard for the water to get in. Mm, um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a joke. Um, but I, I think that, you know, right now in the, the e economic situation that most of the world is in. Right. If you told them that it's it's a hobby grade RC that is very bare bones and pretty basic, right. but it starts at two ninety nine ready to run, mm -hmm. you're going to get a lot more people in the door than the, you would have. The price was the price point is everything. It's the it's the selling point of the car. Like that is a hundred percent. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent the selling point. If you are stretching dollars to try and get there, it makes sense. Like it's yep. it's the thing. It's like if you're looking at the difference between buying. Uh, you know, a WL toys or something like that. And you're at that, like, right. Uh, it's well, it's, you know, I'm, I can almost get there. can almost get there. Or you can like stretch to get to that. It's the move stretch to get that. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So it's really but just for it's all about the price only everything else is it's just, yeah, it's just the, yeah. Skim <laughs> this, uh, shrinkflation. Is it, is it shrink? There's a inflation. Yeah, There's a term the, for it. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, is it. Skimpflation. Is that how it's put, Ben? Uh, yeah. But yeah, it, it is one of those things. It's just like everything else is getting more expensive, so they're just like taking away things that are the standard and the norm to try and right. hit that price point now. Stagflation. Yeah. Is that it? You should have seen know. some of the the it, chats with other people I had today. Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 like within the hobby. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's just like, it's cars that I, I just expect to be at that, that hobby grade. For sure. Again, I think this is sort of like their last leader barrier to entry gets lowered. So people who want to enjoy this hobby, who probably don't have the four or $500 can get in, get it cheap. Yeah, you know, it's, it's um, like scale, those, uh, yeah. checkered pass makes a good point that this also could be element leaving room to come out with like a full function or a full option factory team version. So you get the aluminum upgrade shocks, you get metal links, um, you get bearings. You mean like a, um, the regular one? 
was yeah, for, exactly. for but, but $30 I'll, more. I'll before. tell you, this this is a much better RTR radio than what they used to offer. I'll, That's I'll just say the that SCX24 right radio. No, it's not the same radio, man. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's a four, the fourth channel version, but. Yeah, it's a four channel version. I think it's bigger, isn't it? No, same radio. Is it? Yeah. One second. Um, Hazad three. Thank you, sir. Hundred percent element over axial on this rig. As for bushings, Tamiya has been crushing them at prices for a while. Test and prove it. Yeah, it is a Tamiya move, and we bitch about it every time. You know what? They might be the same radio. They're the same radio. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know what though? The axial one has a foam wheel. I bet it has a bearing around the wheel too. <laughs> Same action, same action. <laughs> and this is a four channel radio too. Same exact radio. Oh, there so you there go. You go. So. But it is a much better radio than what Associated was doing before. Was it? Yikes. I, I couldn't ever re I don't well, remember. Oh, actually, do I have it? Man, I do have hang it. on, I got one. It was this one, which Look was at this dog. large. Woof. Yuck. Can't even, I can't do this one handed. Oh, it's because you have little girl hands. Look at the way you're holding it. It's how I hold all my radios. You probably you're probably one of these guys. <laughs> CCXRC. Do you do it? Uh, do you do oh, it like I missed this? one from Scott O'Blander too. Scott O'Blander, thank you. Uh, I'm with Josh on on the bearings and why servo one axle. The servo one axle. Some of like the comp performance guys will definitely like it. Uh, for. Yeah. Out of the box, honestly, I bet they'll say for other reasons, I'm sure. But I guarantee the reason that they went that way is because it's way cheaper to injection mold that servo mount than it is to include the two-piece aluminum pan hard mount that they made. And they had to do that to fix their shock mount the design before. shock mount, yeah. So this one is a guarantee. It's because it was the cheapest option. Yep, um, definitely. So, you know, that that's uh, that. Um, we all but, upgrade regardless of uh, what an RTR comes with. It's just the way we are. Eventually, it's only forty percent original. Mm -hmm. For for those uh, of us in my, here, I totally uh, agree. Uh, yeah, CCX uh, Craig Thompson. I'll go first. Go ahead. <laughs> Now that he's made the video clarifying your victory, am I free to give Tony his phone back? <laughs> yes tony can have his phone tony can have his phone back and the key to the lock that is holding his wife and kids hostage is zero 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 there are so many people who think because i don't think they've ever watched tony before that that's who tony is and that is yeah. not tony i people that's are just like tony did you see all. ccx calling you guys out for cheating and I'm just like, oh my god! The number of comments that I've gotten on my videos calling me a cheater. I know. Like that. I'm like uh, Tony. I'm not allowed. I should not have won, and I'm like, I didn't come anywhere close to winning <laughs> at all. And they're like, you should be disqualified because you have all those tools at home. And I was like, mm, no, I do not have a laser cutting machine at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing i actually i'm thrilled uh i want to get back to this one craig thompson yeah. says i know my shop's a little different than most but i rarely get people shopping on price they want to buy quality which is why i sell a lot of vanquish kits okay craig stop sucking up josh is not going to give you a discount done i'll give you the code at the end of the show it's just for it's just for you as long as you're before 24 other people um <laughs> the uh yeah it's Okay, so if you're such a this is, blue dually makes an excellent point. Mm -hmm. uh, if you you really like the TRX 4M, right? Yes, for its scale, with bushings, it's fine because of the complete difference of scale and price point. It's one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, yeah, and it's an eighteen it's scale. This is half the price. It's a twenty four scale, scale, pretty much. <laughs> The Defender is exactly 18th scale. Okay. Yes, I'm aware. It's a 20... Time, completely different. They actually did it right. 
<laughs> it's not different at all. It's exactly the same. I was this actually going to bring that up. Two ninety nine. Tenth scale. Uh, the honestly, the only thing that I was that I'm a little like the T Rex four M. The bushings in that size don't bother me. The one thing that kind of bothers me about the TRX 4M at that size is the plastic ring and pinion. Um, yeah, we'll see how those hold up. Well, and I don't um, know. I, I guess I didn't confirm if the pinion is plastic. The pinion is plastic too. Is it? Okay. I knew that the ring gear locker assembly was. But again, and that's, again, it's, uh, we'll have to see how it holds up. Go check your phone. I had it against my keyboard, um, so it was vibrating. Uh, doesn't the bomber come with plastic links? Indeed it does. But I and think that the one's bomber is, end of life is, and it came out a long time ago. Yeah, aged itself way up. The deadbolt yeah. used to come with plastic links. The honcho came with plastic links too. Mm -hmm. So, and all of those things, it's like that was, it was the norm before. But we've, Somebody, you know. somebody said that this old radio is also a Fly Sky radio. It could have been. It's, it's most. This it, thing is friggin' very terrible. likely by the same manufacturer. Anywho, uh, was Josh not hugged enough as a child? <laughs> no. And it's like I, obviously I don't care. Like if it's me, yeah, I'll rip it out and I'll upgrade half the things on it anyway. But it's Be yeah before you even drive it. Uh, I will say though that. Um, I wasn't su supremely nice to this truck as I was driving it, and uh, it 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 took it pretty well. Didn't break anything. I smashed it around a lot on the rocks. So, yeah. you know, I still think it's a good um, entry level, good beginner truck. It's cheap. That's good. Yeah, that's it's, a good cheap, thing. it's cheap. The, the if tires, you if you, the tires look oof. like the price. <laughs> these these tires, I <laughs> I will wholeheartedly agree with you that these those are tires absolutely are awful, awful, awful. These are awful, <laughs> really terrible. You know what they like? You know what they remind me of is the old Proline hammers. Uh, yeah, a lot of people said rip saws as well. Kind of looks like a little bit like a rip saw. Like yep. Uh, no, they're. Yeah. They're ugly. ugly. It's a nice compound, but it's just such Their a compound weird, has never been bad. Good design at all. No, it takes I away was... from the truck. Like, yeah. It... I mean, if you, I mean, I don't know if they were paying any licensing on the generals. I can't imagine that they were, but they uh, just throw something. Put if you're making a new tire, on. just make a non licensed one. Just make a non licensed basic tire. That one's bad. Um, yeah. Do not like. The, uh, yeah, I do like a kit the, version the of that would be good. I'd like to see that for sure. I think we probably will see a kit version of that come. Interesting. I'd be surprised if that mm, did. Maybe. I would doubt yeah. it. Oh, you don't think um, so? Yeah. No. Well, uh, kits just aren't, that's a cheap truck. That's, that's the point of it. And especially in that range, like kits don't sell like they do, like an RTR. Yeah. I'd like yeah. that they did, uh, inner fenders. Yes, the, inner fenders were good. They, the bumpers are much better than the original ones. Yes. Sliders are better, too. Um, axles are nice. They're, they're, they're like a, it looks like a, a decent axle now. It's not... It, didn't, uh, it looks like they only changed the diff cover. I think it's a whole new axle, man. I don't think oh. it's the same. I think it looks just like the same one, but with a different diff cover. Or nearly the same. I don't think so. Were the were the original? <laughs> excuse me. Were the original ones three piece as well? I think they were. Yes. Like one yeah. Handy. Here's here's the front of this one. Yeah. No, I think they're different. I don't know. I think they're different. I don't know. I bet they made some very small modifications. Subtle changes. Subtle yeah. changes. So. Um, um, Josh, was there a video on the Instagram page on the winner of the V-Speed Mayhem? Uh, no, because when you win, you don't need to proclaim that you won. No, I didn't. Um, yeah, we didn't actually 
do an official like results, but we I need mean, to if do you that. were following along at home, uh, the speeds were as follows. Oh, I was pretty close on my predictions, by the way. Were you? Yeah, it was pretty close. Um, Tony uh, from CCXRC and Turks and Jerps both got to 54 miles an hour. Um, RC Review got to 73.2, and he was the only one to have a point in there because he didn't Because he's the only the one who didn't GNSS. follow the rules. Why was he the only one who didn't follow the rules? God damn it. <laughs> yeah, he used a questionable GPS system to uh, track his speed. Only one who couldn't follow the rules. Super annoying. Uh, <laughs> K-pop got 71 or 12. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, 71 was the speed that was on the GNSS, but earlier on, there was one where he got 12 in his video, so. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, West Desert Wheeler got to 63 miles an hour. Tom Lee got to 71, which I was not surprised by. I thought he was going to come in second place, uh, and uh, he may have because he used a reliable GPS system. <laughs> <laughs> And Josh finished in first with 74 miles per hour out of a Vanquish Phoenix straight axle kit. Yes. Very fun. It's I got to there. 62 plus five for my, uh, for my you, attempt. And I think that brings us into mail call. broke in the 62s. In yeah. The 60s. I, I was like, I was the happiest guy in the whole world. If you've watched the video, that was genuine excitement on my face yes. because that's the fastest I've ever gone in one of these stupid challenges. <laughs> <laughs> but not the end for me that car is going to go faster because in mail call today i got new batteries that i'm going to be running oh, nice these are the r lines from uh gen Z's tattoo where less is more and um that's obviously what i thought at the beginning of this competition <laughs> so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run two of these in parallel Mm -hmm. uh, with a parallel connector that I managed to, uh, to get. Um, and uh, that was all on Josh's recommendation after the challenge was over. He's like, oh, no, you should be running two batteries in parallel. And I was like, is this a parallel <laughs> like, connector? Is that 8S? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I've also got a new motor on the way that is much larger. So um, I think for me, though, the temps have gone much lower, which means I've lost a lot of grip because uh, the tires will be a lot harder because they'll be colder. So I'm probably going to wait to the spring. I would, I'm in the spring. I'll be ready as well. I'm going to yeah. let it sit up there on the shelf and mm -hmm. not look at it for at least a month while I reclaim some of my life expectancy because mayhem yeah, exactly. will take it out of you. Oh my gosh. It was mayhem was true mayhem. Um, blind guy RC. Thank you very much. Hey man, that was a busy weekend. FMS looks great. Uh, got my comp build basically done planning a scale hard body with a VS 410 builders kit. Awesome. That sounds great. Jesse can't wait to see that. Thank you as well. Blind on your Garcy. Instagram. Uh, trying to figure out what chassis I could use in place of the VS 410 builders kit. Leaf spring. No, uh, <laughs> that 12 scale Capra, eh? Uh, as far as chassis, the 14 scale brazen scale makes an easy drop in. And the rock pirates that I did also made an easy drop in. And then I've got an artful Dodgers that I don't know yet, but I have to do, I believe that it will make a pretty easy platform. David Ferris wants to know how, uh, those, uh, element tires would compare to the original VXTs for performance. I would give a slight nod to these probably, probably. and not the VXTs. Yeah, I would bet. The, the compound is softer. Yeah. The carcass be thinner as well. Um, yeah. Take the cage off Josh added weight. That's titanium. It is very light. It's probably about it's the light. about the weight of the Lexan that I removed. Oh, here, here's Tony right now. Uh, Tony CCXRC. Compared to, uh, I'm obviously way behind on comments, but uh, compared to the original SCX10, I think I paid $420 for my CRC edition Jeep with plastic links. Yep. 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 Uh, that's, the, that's the whole thing is that to get it to $299 now. You got to do a lot of trimming. You got, yeah, that's, 
and that's the thing. It's just everything's more expensive. So getting yep. it to that price point, they just had to take everything off. Uh, yep. You know, that we're going to have Randall on here in a minute. You got to remember, this was oh, 250 yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. But if you add bearings and a battery to the element to make it even. Yeah, you're almost. You're going to be. You're almost like. dollars there. Yeah. What am I, <laughs> do I want to buy now? <laughs> it keeps uh, let's do the, the this is the problem it keeps changing yeah you know the what do they call that the when you keep changing the goal posts moving yeah. keeps changing the goal posts around moving yep. the goal. that'll move the chains that first down wait what uh i have <laughs> i got some mail call stuff but it's mainly camera related um what is this oh i also got Oh, another uh, Outrunner and Super Tiny ESC deal. This is one of those HK Hobbies ones. I had one of these in one of my, which one? I put this in the AHP welder truck that I made with that scattergun chassis. Um, so I replaced that. What do you got next? Uh, Alex Tech, quarter inch PT expandable wire braiding. This is the best stuff in the whole world. And I you ran out, so I stuff. bought some more. Yep. I wrap all my wires in that. Uh, Pellison has sent me a handful of packages lately. Uh, I bought their oh, neck mount thing. Yeah, the neck that, mount is the best. And then they sent me like a, a few different uh, other random GoPro. And actually, they sent me, oh, nice. I don't have it in here. I've got the Rode video mics, you know, the mic go to or whatever. And the most. Yep. Annoying thing about it is charging it. Like they've got, th you have to take three USB C mm -hmm. cables to charge it. They oh, all go. No. So they make, Telson makes a case where I can just drop each of them into it and it's a battery itself. Oh. And it, oh. like the, the Lark M1 that I have, that comes all in one little, well, one big style AirPod case it's, and you just charge it with exactly. one USB port. It's yeah, just like that. I'm going to try it. that Lark as well, I think. It's awesome, man. You hear it all the time. You heard on my uh, camper mm -hmm. video. Even when it was mega windy like that, I put so the dead cat in your on capper it. video. Perfect. You were, you were recording that as you were driving it. Yeah, wow, yeah. that sounded like you were voiceovering in the studio. That's amazing. I did not, That's I did great. not know you were doing that. Real time. That was full on live. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Film. <laughs> lots of stuff going on there, man. Wow. 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 Holding. There's a screenshot for video right there. <laughs> Holding the gimbal driving with this in the other hand talking and keeping the truck in frame all at the same time how does he do it <laughs> that a is... lot of people have asked how do i do that and uh rebecca and i were like oh wait we need somebody else to film me filming while i was doing it yeah. and i don't i don't think we have anybody you know what that makes for a, a decent reel there the last thing I got for mail call showed up today, and that is oh, one of yeah. these guys. This the old Tamiya YJ hard body, hard to Real find. Real Jeeps have square headlights. False, but <laughs> uh, yeah. So I got this today, which again, like I said, is yeah. kind of hard to find. Noise. No, they're not hard to find. They are. You said that they were, and I did one search, and you were like, "Huh." Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, neat. No so, apology. No thank you either, if I recall. Nah. Nah, uh, not your style. <laughs> nah, over it. Nah. Uh, yeah, so I think that this uh, could turn into a fun little project. You can tell that this doesn't line up quite right, but we have the technology. Lift it up so everyone can see. Oh, sorry, your side can't see it. Uh, cool Jeep. The not wheelbase, Jeep. The width, the track width is track width is nice i mean like per like just tucked just mm -hmm. perfectly so randall's probably rolling over he's like i'm out i'm out so don't ruin don't ruin my car that could be like matt and just like bolt a body to a cage and be like look at that guys <laughs> what, look, oh i did that with the bomber yeah. that was it I know. it's the only time i've done that and it, was, yeah, it, was, it looked great it did not um 
the rules were vague about GPS or something like it. No, they were, nope. Tony. It was they were extremely not. specific. It said this one or this one. These are your two Those are the only two choices you have. He chose neither of those. <laughs> Phil's run is more impressive since he had next to no arrow on his rig. I agree. It's pretty incredible what he was able to achieve. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. Direct drive, big motor. He had that. He had a boat motor mount in there. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, that was smart. Yeah, I technically I liked, uh, uh, that. fastest and with a 540 motor. I think I was the only one who ran a 540 in the end. No, I ran a 540. Did you? Oh, yeah. I, guess I didn't notice. I thought you had a HD Pro 4 HD. Yeah, but I swapped to uh, Castle uh, 3850. Uh, okay, that's right. Because you had the you had the Pro 4 HD 2500. Correct. Which was not slow. enough okay, KBs. That makes sense. Yes. Yep. yep. Uh. Uh, Jesse Sleppy said, <laughs> well, he didn't say that, but, uh, he said, I bet you have 75 in yours, Matt. I bet you you're not wrong. I think I could probably top Josh's speed and then he would just top that speed again. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I do hope to just, I don't know if I need more motor, I, I more motor. I, I think I could get that thing over 80 in a weekend. Did K-pop ever run it with the body on? No. The, yeah, that was uh, he. So K-pop did a follow-up video where he tore his down to show the rod that he, the connecting rod that he Completely turned into a J. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you get those up to those high RPMs for that long. Uh, Dave Zilla said he might have one ready for spring as well. The oh, rules are posted. Sick. If you guys want to do it, I heartily encourage you. Yeah, so that would fun. be. It would be cool. Why did um, Hemistorm not compete? Uh, not available. He uh, yep. uh, he graciously uh, he was he's pleased and and uh, he would have liked that to. we asked him and he would have liked to have done it, but he just could not commit doing a lot of traveling. Same with RC Girl. I don't think she had the time to commit to it. Um, a lot of people ask me in my video comments why we didn't ask Raz Schifrin or or uh, uh, Kevin Talbot. It's like well. Kevin Talbot's got like, I don't know, close to 2 million subscribers. Probably yeah. sure he's not going to be interested in, in participating, nor I would I even know how to get a hold of him. Uh, everyone else, we sort of had like a bit of a uh, either a communication or a, a relationship of some sort already with. Right. Um, Raz, I, think, I don't know that he would want to do it either. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he would have. But I think this we, was it, sort of like we needed to prove the concept. Yeah. Like these prove are people the concept, that we had. We had some sort of reasonable reach and ability to. Um, from there, you know, again, we'll come up with more. We'll do. We'll do. Uh, oh, yeah, there will be others after this. Again, uh, checkered past. My truck weighed nine pounds, <laughs> and Josh's was six and a six. half. You yeah, said? six, six or some, six and some. I don't remember what it was. Six and change. Um, I think the weight. I think the weight helps me. I think it keeps it more planted. Yours was yeah. all. Just keep sure you keep sure planted place. close to the ground and firmly in the spot that you put yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. Jeremiah, thank you, sir. New monthly mayhem challenge turn to VS410 in Phoenix to a race buggy. Oh no. What motor should I run in my Rift? I'm putting a Reef Triple Eight in it. Uh, mode. I honestly haven't done any motor swaps on the Rift. I've only ran my Rift with the stock electronics. Is or stock I, motor. I, I never, bought when I built my kit. I bought the stock electronics because I yeah, was like, yeah, it's good. Honestly, the stock electronics in that thing else. had way more power than I thought it. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, like this thing is <laughs> a lot. Need this much? Uh, this which would also was Randall's project. Who we should get in here? Yes, let's do that real quick. Thank you to Chuck's RC Habit. Good evening, Matt and Josh. I've been away for a bit. Finally got moved. Welcome. I lost Matt's audio. Hold, please. Right. I'm switching over. Hold. Let's see. Hold, please. Um, I lost Matt completely. Hold on a second, Randall. And I think that I lost just about everything on this one. No, not that. Audio good? 
Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay. You've got a, uh, turn your autofocus off on your camera. Oh, geez. <laughs> Is it focused? It gives, well, it's uh, it puts a little square over your face. Oh, I don't think that's going to go away. Oh, okay. Well, it's we'll a just, new camera. We'll just have fun with that then. Yeah. <laughs> See if I can keep my nose in the square. Um, I lost Matt's, uh, Matt completely. Oh, hold on a second. I'll do the same. Might be a bit of an issue. And I think maybe I just uh, removed just blew Matt it, blew from the call. Out. <laughs> there. There we go. What is what's Randall do doing? Uh, uh, he's doing his impersonation of the Blair Witch. <laughs> oh my gosh! Don't, don't, say, anything, don't say anything smart yet. Do you have like the whole on screen display? display? Yes. Yeah. I can, I can oh, see wow. sure everything. Do. Everything about your new camera settings. Do we, they look good? That's cool. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, it's like watching you through my viewfinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Welcome, welcome to the show, Oops. noob. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always something. I got, I don't know, all this camera gear goes away until I have you guys on a call. And you then, knew this uh, was coming, though, right? I did. I did. I just, you know, <laughs> sometimes I don't have the time. Yeah, we know how that goes. It's yeah, uh, I totally the... know how that goes. I have more important things to do. <laughs> Sadly, we don't. This is this is it. This is the. I'm just cropping some of it off so that people don't ask what that's all about. <laughs> I'm I'm leaving it. Much appreciated. Awesome. <laughs> so anyway uh randall is project one of the project managers at horizon doing mainly or only axial projects at this time uh i actually do have one low c project i'm working on what what and, and uh you you told us earlier what that is but tell the people now oh it's that one that has the four <laughs> tires <laughs> ah, so it's not a six by six you yeah, heard it here first. Three wheeler, four <laughs> tires, and a prop. Ooh, <laughs> is it on top? Hold on, J Joker fifty one zero five seven one four nine er. Can I purchase the file for the VFD twin ship servo mat you made for the family truckster? We hey, can. This is questions for yes. Randall. Only. Shoot me a message on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have. I don't have time for that, guys. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so okay, Randall, okay, I've got a question. I've got. Well, it's more of a comment. Uh, and it's all in caps, so I'm sure he's yelling it. But Rob G. Off-Road and RC wants to say, please re-release the 6x6 Unimog. <laughs> you know, There's always one, and we're probably going to hear a bunch more. No. Uh, yes. No. Oh, man. Darn it. Did, I saw one on eBay first. last week for like 1500 bucks. Yeah, you know who was selling it? Randall. I was going to say that, Rob, Rob G. <laughs> He's trying to make a profit. <laughs> oh, so, man. Look at what you've done. I don't know what Look I'm at what you did. About. So, how look long have you... Oh, hey. Wait a second. That's a green-caged one. We don't have those. No, didn't... How... didn't uh, it, it wound up on the, uh, on the cutting room floor. How long have you been That's working on this? I think, yeah. When, when did you start uh, working on this? I'd have to go look at the date, but it was um, probably almost two years ago. Okay. It's it, it's a wow. it's a long process. Yeah. They don't they don't come right. out of the out of the oven fast. Right. No. And and it's not like you're only working on one project during that time. You've got obviously we I think we've talked to you about other ones since then. You know, six. Yeah, I probably have like six projects in the boiler. Right. So, yeah, it's uh, wow. but this one is was kind of out of left field for people who weren't expect <laughs> or weren't thinking about it. Now, it's not, you know, it's not like it's the only one that's ever been about this size or these proportions. That is correct. Yeah, we the way back in the model, basically what. What, what I modeled it off of was the old ECX temper. Right. <clears throat> or the old, uh, was that the low C, the mini rock crawler? Yeah, the MRC. Yeah. Yep. MRC, yeah. 
So, yeah, there was the MRC, then the... Wasn't there another... Didn't they have another ECX that was before the Slick Rock that used it or something like that, too? Um, the Temper? Temper. That one? And there yeah, was the, the, Sli- the Slick Rock as well. Oh. Yeah. They were okay. basically oh. the same. I think it was just yeah. rebranded. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit different styles and rebranding, things like that. I yeah. couldn't. I, all I was handed was a temper. And said, there you go. <laughs> and said, here, 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 buddy. Here, pal, make this again. Yeah, make, make something cool from, yeah, make something cool like this, but better. Right. Right. So, um, so it does yeah. have, it does have bearings. Yes. It does have, <laughs> well, what was your, <laughs> kind of your scope of this project when you were tasked with uh, it? I'll, I'll tack another one on. Don't use square headlights. That was part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's a good question, oh, though. Man. Like The Capra was already out there, and you did the four-wheel steer Capra that, that yep. kind of followed that up, and Josh liked that one a lot more. Um, what what made you guys go, you know what? We need a slightly smaller one. Um, it was kind of just to fill a, a void. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of 18 scale stuff out there. Um, the ECX temper has been around for a long time and it's, it's, it's sold well, you know? Um, so we were kind of, you know, let's see if we can break into the 18 scale market and, you know, come out with an 18 scale Capra. Um, we talked about doing it, uh, four wheel steer, but it, for what we've got going on, it just wasn't in the cards to get it done and get everything developed in time. You know, in order for it to be four wheel steer, you've got to have some different electronics. Right. Yeah, because you've got the the two in one, the you know, yeah. the whole deal there. Yeah, you need a, a two in one with a third channel, and that's not very doable. You know. Right. Exactly. Without, yeah. without extra development time, I, I got to tax somebody else. I got that's a great. couple here. Uh, one bare ends. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I need a replacement for our one eighteenth mini crawler shocks. Ooh, that might be a different one. That might be a difficult one. Anyone know of a direct fit? I do not. Uh, maybe try the new mini T. The uh, oh yeah, maybe that would work. Eric, what size were the shocks? For the remember the old mini crawler? They didn't they have like a M two or M two point five shock shaft? I don't remember. Oh man, Eric Baker. Uh, now Randall, can we have an SCX six Capra? <laughs> UTB six. <laughs> I mean, I'm in for that. It, I would it, like to see that too. So we just need to take that and scale it up. But everybody right. hates that we just take things and scale them up or scale them down. So we won't make a Capra. Right. Wait, who you know, hates I, that? I think I can see the reflection of the UTB6 in that photo in the back for the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always scare me when you do that. <laughs> I swear, I check everything. <laughs> Based on based on how well the Honcho SCX6 does, like just changing the body and putting a cage on the back of that thing made it way more capable. I would like to see a large scale like Capra. I think that would be really, really sick. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm I'll put I'll put way bigger yeah. tires on that one too. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, because your ride height is already too high. Are, that yeah. doesn't change the ride height that much. Art was but look, saying. I put smaller ones on he put, it now. He, Art here, his his comment here is fantastic. Considering how big the UTB eighteen is, you could probably drive a UTB six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like the crawler that you already you already I do. Mean, I mean, yeah, really? why not? You, you can you can ride on an SCX six already. So so when they yeah. told you uh, we need a replacement, make a UTB four. Right, <laughs> we need a replacement for the temper. At that point, did it kind of open up and you, then you were like, well, let's make a little brother to the, the Capra? Or was it like, hey, take the Capra and replace the the temper? Like, was that already kind of lined out? Kind of, but not exactly. Um, you know, and it's always a joint effort. It's not necessarily mm-hmm. just one person making the decision. There's always a lot of, you know, a few of us in there that are kind of talking about what we should do, what we should do. Um, and there's a lot of people that really like the Capra body style. Um, so it was kind of makes it a, a slightly easier to just say scale it down but it it just it, anybody yeah. that's worked in cad it doesn't exactly work that way you can't say minus it, you know 10 percent off of the car uh, no yeah it's a starting point but it's it yeah, yeah it's a starting it, point. it just really helps with the direction down. it's just like okay yeah, yeah. 
Now yeah. I go from here. You don't have to like play with styling a ton more and right. do this and that. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Wind up with a spur gear sticking out of the roof or, yeah. you know, axle <laughs> shafts poking out the sides or something. <laughs> right. Dimensionally, though, like, I mean, you packed a lot in here. I, I like that um, it still has a, a, a decent interior and it still um, has portal axles, but you managed to cram a full-size servo under there, which I thought was a really wise move. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, the the micro servos on something like this, it just would not no. do very well. No, and honestly, so driving. The fact that you can put a nice big servo in there is great. Driving with this servo, like, right out of the box, it's just you don't have that, like, RTR servo mush feel. It's just... Yeah, you don't... You just, you're not like, well, that's the first thing I'm changing. Right. It's just right. not the not the thought, you know? Yeah. yeah you know, exactly. and there... And, it, it kind of goes that way a lot of times when we're talking about building cars and, and we want to make the consumers happy. We want to try to make improvements on the vehicle as we go along to try to satisfy some of the things that we picked up on as we go. You know, like you guys say, that the common thing is the RTR servo sucks. You know, that a lot of people say that about every car on the market. Well, fortunately, we were able to find a, you know, use a the Spectrum low profile servo and stuff it in there granted there's not a lot of room left over but it's stuffed in there right yeah. um and is that low profile you... yes it is oh okay low ish yeah i guess so low ish profile yeah. <laughs> grab, grab a stand grab a standard now, scale. now i'm going lose. to because like yeah you're gonna lose ten, 10 mil off the back side of that what? thing off the depth yeah I just sold all my stock RTR takeouts. <laughs> eh, okay. Well, no. Well, mm, how many millimeters did you say? Well, I said 10, but it might be a little bit less. It might be that. more like three or sure. four. That is not <laughs> any lower profile at all than this servo. And what? This... I, I've used. I've got this other spectrum right here, and it's basically the same. Wait, yeah. that's a what was that one? A sixty-three eighty or sixty-three fifty? Sixty-three ninety. Sixty-three, 63 90. ninety. This yeah. is a like run-of-the-mill EcoPower one ten T, and it is maybe two millimeters shallower than yours. Oh my gosh! Well, I don't know. I guess I'll have to go back and look at the six one four because that's what I compared it to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> Uh, but nice, nice battery size, good battery life too. Uh, yeah. I actually got a nice like half hour runtime out of mine easily. Oh yeah, I, which is good. I think I got yeah, even should, more yeah, than that. Say, it was great. Be, so yeah, forty five yeah. minutes ish. Yeah, that, that's probably yeah, closer to what I mini, got. Uh, yeah, and they they so. have the. Um, I don't know if you can still find it, but they do make a. I think it's an eight hundred fifty C battery, which is an awesome upgrade for the car. Um. If they're still out there, I'm not sure if they're still out there or not, but that, that Dynamite 850C is a great plug-and-play battery. Yeah. Um, cool. So your servo Can options are wide people? open, guys. But the, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, this is a little hard case. So, yeah, there's going to be soft case lipos yeah. even larger, you know, that'll... Absolutely. So that, that yeah. part of yeah. it was, is good. Now, the ride height, Randall. Now... I do have preload in this still, but I'm gonna wing all of that out. I I don't, and when when the shocks are fully compressed, yeah, which is how it sits. That's how it's supposed to sit, Mine... fully compressed, or maybe three mil, not ten, yeah. but three. <laughs> there, so like that's there's three three ish. If I mil. push it down, and links are pretty much flat. Yes, yeah. links links are supposed to be flat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But when you get it out of the box and you hold it like this, or when I set looks, mine on the ground, ridiculous. yeah, it still is just but up you're, there. But right. But your whole drivetrain is locked, so you're not going to get the car to settle too much because the tires can't roll. And so, yeah, technicalities. It <laughs> it settles once you start driving it. Yeah. The uh, yeah, that's true. The ride height Lots is my only like already available at launch too, which I was pretty impressed by. Um, all metal link options are on there. Uh, yep. I've got the brass hubs on all four wheels, but Randall suggests just the front. Um, Why I've were you so the, lucky uh, to get to get two sets of of brass portal covers? <laughs> uh, wow! 
I opened the box. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Here's, here's the things. The, the, uh, yeah. uh, oh, also the rear link riser is also installed on here. Yep. Helps with Danny's um, squad. Um, yep. Um, what else? Oh, uh, brass hexes as well. I think that's, yep. that's it for upgrades that I have. I don't think there are many others though. Uh, um, currently. No, we did. Uh, well, overdrive gears, which I think you have too. Overdrive gears. Yes. I put yep. those in. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. I forgot about that. Um, now the other thing, Randall, you and I were talking on the phone, uh, all of us have basically said the same thing about the, the tires having no foam. Not the case. They have foam. They do have foam. They do have a foam. I didn't say that. It, There's a very light foam. It's, a very, it's right. a very light foam. Yeah. 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 So I, I, yeah, it is it is a very light foam. Um, the car doesn't weigh a whole lot. And the concept of, of getting a softer foam or a light foam is, is to try to get from a crawler's perspective, like a one-to-one -one crawler's perspective or a Jeeper's perspective is to try to get a little bit of tire squish out of the tire. Now, you, with this particular car, you do sat, you know, sacrifice a little bit on the side hills where you start to see the tire roll over in high traction. Um, and that's also because it's locked you know, front and rear. So a lot of times when you see the tire in the front roll over, it's because the rear is pushing that front tire in a straight line. So it just starts to roll that tire over. And that's just kind of a, a common problem in a, in a fully locked drivetrain. I'll give you... For the benefit of all right. of us, Randall, in the future, go with the harder foam and leave an air gap. Maybe. I'll consider that. It's the way to go. Smaller foam. Smaller yeah. foam. A yeah. little bit. Smaller diameter. You get the sidewall, leave but the firmer. air gap. Yeah. But the, R uh, RC Underdog, the, thank you very much. Does Randall watch my channel? Question mark. <laughs> I made a temper Gen 2 with portals a year or so. <laughs> <laughs> all jokes aside, love the UTB18. Thanks for all the work you guys do. Thank you, RC Underdog. Much appreciated. Yeah, thank, yeah thanks so cool. much. I guess, I guess I'll have to go look him up. I, yeah, <laughs> so definitely. That probably know. answered his question about his channel. <laughs> I dig yeah. the tires. Uh, the reason I have all these upgrades, I think, is because uh, marketing. Yes. <laughs> They're not fully available yet, uh, but pre-order them now so you can get them. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's one more option part coming, too, which is the, the steering axle. Oh, right. Ah, so you could add rear steer, right? Yeah, yep. nice. Yep. We, yep. We, the, that, that, again, you, yeah, you do have to replace the, the two in one yeah. UC receiver. Um, but some of my mail goods, uh, I'm not specific to this project, but since you guys are doing mail call out, I got a couple oh, nice. of things here that I'm just checking out um, okay. for something. So I do have some <laughs> stuff that I'm going to yeah. be test fitting for something. <laughs> the, uh, so cryptic yeah exactly right <laughs> have you tried to jump it over a house <laughs> i tried no, uh didn't yet. make it off the front step though uh, i threw it off the roof yeah did you? Uh, actually no i did a lot better than my first capra this one did not go off a cliff yeah. oh yes yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. this one kick, did you kick your jump ramp <laughs> <laughs> he watched it he watched it <laughs> Success. He watched <laughs> flying cars. Yeah. Yes. I'm so did. glad. How did you, did, did you watch it by yourself or did you con the wife did into watching it? Do with our you? suggestion no, and watch I, it with I, your lady. No, I watched it with a box of tissue. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, I don't, you don't tell people that. Yeah. I, just, I didn't say lotion, I said <laughs> tissue. <laughs> <laughs> she's young randall i don't know uh, i was i was subjected to a whole lot of oh man how can i say that subjected to a whole lot of um unsolicited uh, I'll, I'll just say b3 content if you know what i mean <laughs> was it b3 uh, yeah i think it was b3 yeah <laughs> No idea. What? I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I think it was B3. It no. was a little buggy that they were driving that was, was plastered. Freaking posters oh, was... and signs and, oh. you know. That was the RC8. I thought it was B, an... I believe. Yes. Okay. Yeah. B4. It's yeah, a B4, I I'm told. Yeah, I just. Maybe B4. it's. Before. No, it wasn't a B4. That was an eight scale buggy. 100%. Okay. Well, I don't really remember. Yeah. I think it was an RC8B3. There you uh, go. Yeah, I just don't say the, the other right, word. Right, exactly. 
the, oh, the team associated part. <laughs> Got it. I mean, you guys said TNA was in it, so I yeah, was like, ooh. <laughs> trying to get the well, kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah, a little, little bit. Uh, oh, associated might have sponsored that movie. I doubt they'll ever get a confession. Though. I'm pretty positive they did. There was they did 100 percent sponsored. Yeah, they, Schultz was involved. Was he involved? Was he really? I don't even remember that part. Yeah, I think I think he was like, yeah, uh, I can get you a car. Yeah. What is this for? Yeah, like, you're gonna jump a house? I got one in my truck. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a clear body in a t-shirt? <laughs> he was giving those out too. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm really glad you watched it though, Randall. What's your overall impression of the greatest RC movie of all time? <laughs> You know what? I'm going to be honest, dude. It really wasn't that bad. It it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I've seen, and I paid three bucks for it, four bucks for it, three bucks for it on Amazon, whatever. I've paid a lot more for worse movies in the theater. So yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll... all right. And you know, I will actually. The other thing that got got me hooked was I think it was at Revelation Raceway. A bunch of the footage, I think, which was one of the first tracks I went to. And then I kept looking to see if there was somebody else in there, specifically looking for you two guys. <laughs> like, I mean, they're wanting me to watch it so bad. They've got to be getting a royalty or something. Like, <laughs> they're in here somewhere. I just got to find it. <laughs> no, we actually got demonetized for promoting that yeah, movie. Yeah, a, oh a movie that they – I don't remember how it We're was. like, hey, can we – can we promote your movie and show the trailer on our show? Or they were actually, they asked us if we wanted to show the trailer on the show. Yeah. And we were like, yeah, absolutely. Do we have your permission to do it? Totally. And then we show it. And then we instantly both got demonetized for that episode <laughs> because the music in the trailer isn't licensed to them. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Cause it was before that was a big issue, right? <laughs> I think it's just not handled. God. Like, I just don't think they were thinking that through. It was it was pretty awesome. What movie is this? Yeah. Flying Cars. Flying Cars, Flying the best cars. movie ever yes. about yeah. a man who doesn't want to work. Yeah, like, that's <laughs> yeah, just likes, an absolute likes college loser. age ladies. And, you know. Um, so I was I was determined I was not going to come on tonight's show <laughs> without watching Flying Cars first. <laughs> that's great. That that's is determination. So great. Ah, do you think though that do you think there's room in the RC movie um, realm for more <laughs> RC themed movies? Like, could we do like a like a crawler movie? Could Axial be involved in a movie that oh boy. has this sort of stuff in it? Do you think uh, that's a thing? Can you imagine no. trying to make what we do exciting enough for a movie? Right. 90, 90% yes. of the footage. 90% of the footage. <laughs> <laughs> Move the winch stick. Move it. Hurry. I don't have enough time. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Just guys That'd pointing at their the feet. <laughs> majority of it. <laughs> and there'd be like a girl would go by. And nobody would move. Nobody would, <laughs> nobody would move. They wouldn't even look at Yeah, they wouldn't even notice. They just... Get off the course. <laughs> oh, God. You want, Get out of here. Do you want to be a big crawler? Or... <laughs> we'd be kicking rocks or oh, we'd be Joker, kicking rocks thank you again. Uh, yes, he watched it. <laughs> when I watched it with my wife, was so put off by it. <laughs> How could she be... This is... No, Rebecca loved that movie. Uh, Nicole was definitely questioning all of her life choices. Why am I sitting here with uh, you watching a movie about toy car? RC cars. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. Oh, I got a good question here from Matt Burnett. Thanks very much, by the way. Uh, did we already ask about why a Capra versus other models, both new and legacy? Why, great Why question. would you choose the Capra? SCX versus yeah, is a really Capra great question. or versus, I guess it's really just um, SCX versus Wraith or Bomber. Sure. Or okay, Yeti. So Why didn't you bring the Yeti back? <sighs> Again, people tell us we're, all we're doing is recreating the same old things in different scales <laughs> or whatever. Why should we keep doing that? Because they keep, you know, half of the fence is 
don't do that. Where's your innovation and your originality? And then the other half is bring it back. Um, I, so, I fully agree. Once it's dead, just yeah. let it be dead. Yeah. Uh, Wraith, uh, we couldn't redo the Wraith. We didn't really want to redo the Wraith. Um, didn't like, I pers- I liked the Wraith, uh, but I didn't fully like the Wraith. Yeah, the station wagon um, look was always never, it was never my favorite. Right. So the we went with the, the, the Capra just simply because it's, it's a known chassis. It's capable. Um, mm-hmm. It literally, we took the the four wheel steer Capra chassis, the cage work, and and put it on this car. That way, you could do a rear steer option with the car. It's already designed for that. Um, so most of it was that. And then we've talked about like an SCX eighteen and stuff like that. But um, we. A few of us feel that we just don't have enough cars that are actually crawlers anymore. Everything is so scale. Yeah, you know, I get all that. the SCX line, the SCX twenty four. Yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> SCX ten, the SCX six, like everything's so scale. It's like, hey, we need to yeah. bring crawling. Yeah, just that that performance. And I'm a proponent. A I I love scale, but I'm also a proponent of crawling just because I've I've done a lot of crawling in a Jeep and a moon buggy and whatever. That it's you know. It was a good choice to I would, get to get. Going. I would also argue that there's a lot of things from the old axial lineup, like the Yeti or the XO or things yeah. like that, that just would not fit into the product category anymore. That would be something right. that Horizon would be like, you can't make that. That's a Losi thing or that's a Arma thing. Like, yeah, correct. Stay whole out, different world. Stay out of our backyard. That, it's a whole different which is, world now. Yeah, which is true with with the Losi brand, the Armor brand, and, and the Axial brand all being on board. And um, it is true that when we decide to make a vehicle, we really have to talk about, well, if it's a, we'll just say a, a basher that we were kind of talking about as an Axial car, well, wait a minute, do we want to keep compete with Arma or do we want to just take that concept and just, you know, hand it over to Arma and let them do what they yeah, do? Use so, their parts catalog a, that already exists and just... I, right. I feel like in have the, you thought uh, about making a speed run car right out of a solid crazy. axle rock crawler? Um. Um, I did. <laughs> there, there's actually an event this weekend, um, which it's out here in San Hollow called Battle on the Beach. Shameless plug for Sky RC and Operation Eleven. Charlie gets the proceeds. Um, they're doing side by side drags and RC drags, um, and Wait. I really, really, really wanted to take an SCX six and stretch with some super long trailing arms like you used to do with the Banshees uh-huh. and put some big horsepower in it, you know, and just let her eat down the beach. Oh, but yeah, that would be a, a I, missile. I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't have all the hookups that, that you guys have <laughs> to make parts overnight. Um, so what are you I, talking I about, it took yeah. like three weeks for me to get those parts. Yeah, you could pull that off. You work at a major uh, manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem and, and you have you, <laughs> just send it to the same place and then just put it on your expense report uh jeremiah right. just say i'm kind of a big deal uh <clears throat> horizon does sell complete scx2 axles it's sold as a scx2 front or rear axle kit so it's got all the parts yeah, to are, either build a front or a rear or a rear yeah not both yeah it's not correct it is not both so yeah and we we, um, we did sell the ar60 as a front only axle oh did you um, i didn't remember that yeah yeah we sold we sold that as a front axle only we we also sell the ar45 standard axles yeah as a you know a conversion kit but you can get those so um now are those still yeah, sold I mean, or those discontinued the kit the ar45 yeah the straight axle kit um, if it might be discontinued, but we probably have inventory. Okay, gotcha. That's that's what I think. Okay, yeah. Chuck Swerdy, we'll have it. Thank you. Uh, uh, cop stances are movie worthy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> depends oh on gosh. who's offering who's this. Cop stancing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, he has a follow up question: SCX six Gladiator? Oh. Question mark. You won't hear me agree to it. I don't. I'm not a big fan of gladiators, Josh. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neither am I. They, they're they're, they're just long wheelbase. Yeah, and yeah. I got. I actually got a buddy staying at my house right, <clears throat> right now. That's he's out here with his gladiator and stuff like that. So, I mean, they are really, really cool trucks. Don't get me wrong there, but 
I'm a I'm a Jeep guy. I'm a moon buggy guy. So I oh I, I think I agree. It's, to me it's also like the ABS bodies on the on the 24 line. To me, um, I love the way that they look, and I will definitely produce one. Um, but Which one? That that one with the four you told wheels. us all you told us earlier, but I just remind us. It's gonna be a low C. <laughs> Weird. An SC, axial SCX twenty four low C. Yeah, yeah right. it's actually a SCXL. <laughs> it's a DBXXXS. A. Don't forget A. Oh A. Yeah, there's A. 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 a? <sighs> So, uh, I'm going to put so, a hard body on a, ABS bodies, one of your crawlers. I know you are. <laughs> uh, ABS bodies are cool. Um, they're super detailed, but mm -hmm. I, I, oh no, I'm still here. Hang on. Adjust your oh, ISO. <laughs> Turn your camera back off. Yeah. It, it hit his. Uh, <laughs> it hit his timeout every 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it 30 minutes? Most likely. Got to keep adjusting. Since you since adjusting. you turned it on, I bet. No, because well, yeah, I turned probably. it off right when you called. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I like ABS bodies. They look really, really good. They're super cool, but they also hinder the performance of of a vehicle. So yep. The, but I like them. Yep. So I know. you'll see you'll see I one know. from me that's, eventually. That's why you get so many uh, crawlers from me that don't do good. <laughs> <laughs> However, Sorry. heavy. If you scale them down and you drive over rocks that are the appropriate scale for that body, it's doing yeah, what it's supposed to do, and then some. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Josh doesn't understand that concept. The Bronco was a uh, little. Chris Barr, yeah, thank but... you very much. Uh, best tires tested on the UTB 18 Capra at Key City Hobby slash Super Shafty so far is the Hot Bodies Racing 3.9 Rover 1.9. Vented on Vanquish 1.9 methods, truck is stuck besides this wheel tire package. I, Sounds like wow. I could see that. I mean, the the, yeah. I mean, I didn't know that you'd be able to find that size rover still from Hot Bodies, uh, but that's got to be difficult to find, right? Must be. Are you are you uh, are you playing with the steering servo? No, over there. Is that what you're doing? He said no. <laughs> I, I know that sound, and I know what you're doing. Uh, I didn't. I didn't even hear exactly it. Exactly what I've been doing over here. I'm just going. Uh, like this. <laughs> well, I just you know trying to. It's gonna snap. Trying to crank that. Trying to hey, adjust the profile. Have faith in your products, <laughs> Just trying to make Jeez. this profile lower. I was trying to find the lever. <laughs> Is this the low profile lever? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I definitely tested it. I rolled that thing off of some thirty foot steep, <clears throat> thirty foot steep incline several times. Now you're talking break. my language. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, without it breaking, um, it is pretty strong. Obviously, it, it it will break. It's it's plastic. Um, yeah, but you know what? I'm I'm well, more I, impressed with is the quality of the the motor. Even after adding all this weight that I added, still handled it. Without any trouble whatsoever. Yeah, I do like that. I was worried that you would undersize size. the motor, but yeah, it's yeah, that's definitely honestly the always right a concern. Yeah, motor sizes can be un. They, the SCX twenty four. I, I mean, it was kind of the first. I would say like super successful twenty four scale, right? I yeah. all agree. I think so. And so, the SCX twenty four motors can burn out. I've seen countless people mm -hmm. burn them out, right? But it's just like it was. Up until that point, they weren't as widely used. People weren't burning them out. So it's just like, uh, you know. Now, if you were to do it again, would you likely upsize it from that 080? Probably. So. If there's space. Right. Well, if you were like starting yeah. over. I mean. Or if yeah. you were updating it to yeah, a new yeah, yeah, ABS. Yeah. If we were doing like a SCX, SCX 24 yeah. 2.0 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. With I an mean, ABS yeah, hard body. To, we try to. You know, you know yeah. something yeah. blurry in the background. We, we try to, I don't know. There's nothing <laughs> there. The, now, right. this is an. In, there's some interesting here, questions Randall, here. Randall, I'll help you out. I'll just make your screen a little bit larger so people. <laughs> yeah, so people can get a better look at the, all the things in the background. I, uh, SMT Matt, SMTs. Matt, I have a hard time fitting Josh's head in that smaller <laughs> screen, though. I know it's crazy <laughs> how big his head is. Uh -huh. The SMT Oops, would be seems big. like 
LMT, SMT, any of them could have an entry into the small scale right now. Matt just did the Max I, Smasher yeah. review. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just saw, actually, I think it was a 24 scale. I've been seeing people that are that are making 24 scale monster trucks. It's super which is common quite, with yeah. the uh, SCX 24. Uh, I, got yeah. I know that there's Furitex got a conversion. There's Matt's yep. uh, FMS. Max Smasher. Nice. And is there more than just those two? Oh, well, I know J Concepts just came out with mm -hmm. SCX24 Monster it, Truck. Isn't, uh, um, um, what was that guy? Tony C C C R. Yeah. C -C -C uh, we, have, we actually don't say his full name here anymore. Uh, uh, okay, good. So. Uh, did, okay, did, uh, off the list. Yeah, apparently he's got <laughs> one of 18 of these. I did see the other day. One of eight. One yeah, of, he drove one. Yeah, one one of eighteen. One of eighteen. What? Just one of eighteen of these. Just one mm -hmm. of eighteen. Yeah, yeah. He did. He did a little thing that said he's got one oh, of eighteen. I, he, did he? <laughs> oh right. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's still in character. I think. He, yeah. I, yeah. Him, yeah. I was like, what? I That's hope cool. he just adopts. That is just who his wife has to have cereal with oh in the morning gosh. now. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say another word that sounded s. S ish like that. Like, he did. So I will say he did. That's say the he guy his wife has to have ah, cereal with. That's where I thought you were going. I hope that. he never takes uh, off the stretch. Hat, <laughs> no, exactly. The hat, it makes it. Stretch, thanks very much. Axial, Romeo, and Juliet, wherefore art thou, rock face? <laughs> what? I don't even know what that means. I don't either. Don't worry. No, it happens. I'm not sure. Is that a, about, is okay. that a tire or something? What about the the pop hood? You like that? The Lego man hand. The Lego man arm. That Lego hand was a killer call out, dude. That's what, that was yeah, great. man. That is like absolutely perfect. I but never I, would have thought of that. I did. I did not either. <laughs> more we more so, that, we would have gotten trouble. Yeah. No, but more so, you know what I like is a little padded the tongue, uh, like mm -hmm. arm tongue there for the battery. Yeah. So smart. Little tongue. That I, so smart. I will give credit to um, Todd Hodge. Matter of fact. Because it was ah. all laid out, and he said, hey, can we put a little piece of foam in here to stop? And I went, I don't think it needs it. And he's like, well, how about we just do it? I'm like, all right, let's do it. So <laughs> there you thinking. have it. Yeah. yeah it's good. It's, uh, I, I mean, it does look like a good idea because <laughs> could have come forward there. Tony just responded, that's why I had to buy mine. CC, is there an X in there? <laughs> <laughs> that was all intentional. <laughs> the, the email uh, never made it to him. <laughs> like, ah, we're just going to try this. <laughs> Hey, I, I did CC at RX. Yeah. So I don't know why he didn't. <laughs> That's so great. That's great, man. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> team Garage Hack, thank you, sir. Good evening, fellow hacker. Hey, team Garage Hack. Are you excited man. for the UTB 18 as I am? I have some plans for mine, which I think are going to be fun. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to have the same plans, but. Uh, Josh sucks. I know. I didn't. I didn't get him the. Uh, I, I was. He found. It, I was like sweet. And I was doing yeah, my. I I found what he was looking for. He's like awesome. Then he he like leaves the chat, and I'm like, hey, grab one of those for me to save me some shipping because you have a bunch of my junk to ship me anyway and unread. <laughs> and then he's like, check it out. And I was like, you Crickets. suck. <laughs> the uh, why did they paint the beadlocks? <laughs> I th I don't know. Matt, what you... You had, know, I, I... I don't hate it. Okay, let me hear you guys first. I don't hate it. Okay. I'm not running them, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> what what put, should they have put been, what should they have been otherwise? There. Like, all black? Don't paint them at all. Right, all black? Yeah. Or what about satin, satin wheels? We kind of... No, no. I don't... Yeah, I like no. that too. I think nah, not sad. My opinion, my opinion, they look. I think it looks great out of the box, um, but then as soon as you run it for a while, they just get all you know, kind of beat up and scratched up. And <laughs> yeah, I just wind up not liking it. But I don't know. Let's say you took it out in the box and you were going to show it off to your friends or your buddies. I think it's 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 great. It's, it looks yeah. great for out of the box presentation. I think it's awesome. I know what you mean. It's. It is it is a presentation thing. I get it. All black can look yeah. a little boring. Um, nah, all black is cool. So these shocks are I just measured at eighty two millimeters long. 
Okay. So. <laughs> Randall, you should you should go. Yes. Yep. Ex- I said okay. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> That's exactly right. Eighty-two. I think they are because I think we talked about it the other day. They're kind of um, they're in between uh, SCX ten seven mil piston shock and the the Yeti Junior front. Seven millimeter piston shock. Yeah, that's, so they're they're in between there. That's definitely a marketing uh, guy number. Like, I don't care how long they're. Yeah, I don't know. It's marketing has to put that there. on the box. You know how I many? Come on. Yeah. I don't know how you guys do it, but you know how many specs I have to stare at and measure and look and try to keep track of when I'm building these cars. Next thing that's you know, on I'm the box. Make, I'm going to make an SCX24 that has 82 mil shocks. You guys are going to be like, "What happened here?" Heck, <laughs> I got them confused. <laughs> Put the wrong thing on the BOM. Uh, 59 yeah. mil compressed, 82 <laughs> extended. Uh, but they are basically okay. SCX 10, the original SCX yes. bodies. Yeah. They, and caps. Yeah, they should be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The seven mil piston yeah, stuff. Um, the okay. specs are probably. Specs are probably on the Horizon website because we do a we have to go through and fill out a, a tech spec sheet for the car. Right. Um, so if you went there, you'd probably see all the specs for the shock lengths and um, gear pitch and and all that stuff. I should. I'm going to finally cut off the uh, rubber bump stops because I hadn't done that. Yet. There you go. Now you're going to have a bunch of flex. That's a good pro tip. Is if yep. if you're not having the tech clearance stops. issues, get rid of the bump stops. You're going to get your ride height lower. Ah. And you're going to have more articulation, more droop. What's up? Or I right. should say more, more flex, more stuff. Right. I'll ruin mine too. What's up? The uh, super light springs on these things, like that—that's yeah. where that they are. That ride height comes in once you do get it compressed, because uh, it's it's such a light spring, it doesn't rebound. That's what I was after. Yeah, um, I, di- I didn't want it to um, unload too quickly. So the, the shock oil, I do have some numbers for you. So the spring, ah. the spring is a 0. 0.6, 12 coil spring. Oh, 0. 0.6. Yeah, 0. Ah. 0.6. If you measure it, it might be 0. 0.5, 8, 0. 0.6. That might be point... lighter than an RC four wheel drive pen. Yeah, it's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a 12 coil spring and the shock weight in the car is 20 weight. Um, I Point don't know yeah. the piston hole size, so don't question me there. But the, the <laughs> concept of it was a lot of cars, when you start to tip them over, or go side hilling, you'll see that the the weight transfer takes over and the springs push it off because the car gets so light. With this car being so light up top, you really had to get a soft spring to where it wasn't trying to push the car off. Yeah, you took all that weight off with that low profile servo, so you needed to keep that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm never going like to let 10, you leave 10, things 10, down. It's okay. You know that. I, no, that's fine. <laughs> I, I saved like 10 grams of weight yeah. <laughs> up high. Uh, up high. The... Now you did all that, okay, right? And then you added all the lights, which yes. that, was that something that's not like is marketing like, hey, we know that things sell better in the hobby shop when they have a bunch of lights, or is this something that you kind of just get a little bit of free reign on? Both, a little bit of both. Uh, that's why it has rock lights. Okay. Um, I'm I am a I am a proponent of rock lights. I like to see rock lights. I have them on my Jeep. Um, you have them on moon buggies, trail buggies, you know, you have rock lights everywhere. Lights sell. It comes with light. You guys were talking about another brand of vehicle that uh-huh. just came out that was kind of cheap. Did it have lights? It no lights. No lights. No I'll lights. Give you that All one. Right. So I'll give you that. Lights. Oh, you mean this, I, this one? I, I, don't, I don't even want to see it right now. <laughs> just put it on his head, Matt. Just hang it over in front of you and just. <laughs> now, Randall, I'm going to need you to look up. And (laughs) (laughs) I have a screen capture I need here. Um, (laughs) We have some great, like a Brady Bunch filming session happening. The, uh, so you also did the underdrive gears right away, which is something that you maybe wouldn't expect as much in kind of this, I guess that's what is kind of overdrive, overdrive. Why did I say underdrive? Overdrive. Sorry. You said under, Um, that's all right. Now we know what Vanquish is coming out. Right. The uh, this area, like no, we used to have ideas. the mini rock crawler, the Losi mini rock crawler, and we had the mini comp scene, like for robot crawling, as Matt would call it, mm-hmm. used. Mm-hmm. So it was basically that car solely. Some people would use axles here and there uh, from other mm-hmm. cars, but the the Losi MRC was pretty much the dominating one. So this used to be like a pretty popular size for 
performance based builds. We used to do a lot of this type of thing. So seeing like underdrive, things like that. And at now we've kind of forgotten about this scale in so many ways that we don't necessarily expect the full brass parts and over and overdrive gearing options, things like that to come right away. So it was cool to see the, uh, the aftermarket seeded with some, some option parts right out of the bat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that we've been kind of working on talking internally about is to try to get back to bringing a car out and having option parts with the car. Um, so it, it takes time. Obviously, when you're looking at an 18-month project, if we decided to do that today for another project, you're not going to see it, you know, for some time down the road, 18 to 24 months, just based on timelines. But um, this car was, was one of them that, you know, I, I, me and the engineers worked hard on to come up with, you know, hey, you know, actively with like what option parts should we make that might actually sell what what's an actual performance oriented option part versus let's just say, a, you know, we'll just call it a aluminum driver's head, you know, or, you know, something that's like those sound really good. Sorry. Though. What about brass? <laughs> How about a brass driver head? <laughs> They'd nah, sell too much weight oh, up no. high. Aluminum is performance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, too much weight up high. <laughs> yeah. So you know, there's things that we look at, like, well, would it really? Does it really help? You know, um, the 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 links um, being the same diameter as the rod ends helps with snags when you're rock crawling. It avoids snags. Um, you know, the steering links, obviously, same thing, and they're stronger. Um, the overdrive in the front is, I think, just kind of a, a a positive all around. You see it in one-to-one -one rock crawling. You see it in a lot of RC cars. You see it in the RC car competition level. Everybody has overdrive in the front or underdrive in the rear to give you the same effect. So it was good that we were able to say, hey, let's do that. Um, obviously, everybody adds weight to the front of the car. So um, that was helpful as well. So it's, it's, it's tough to decide which ones you want to do because you don't have a whole lot of time when you're building the car to also build option parts, you know, that's, that's right. a yeah. whole nother, there's a whole nother list of, to of tasks that you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And you can't just make it and say, okay, there it's done. You still have to do your, your testing iterations of that product to make sure that it is going to work on the car and it's not going to break or, you know, it's, it's going to be fit for the car. So you still have to go through the same stuff. Right. Yep. Right. Right. Uh, Tony CCXRC asks, uh, and thank you, Tony. Can you meet him? Uh, I'm not. Well, you know, he's new uh, <laughs> to the scene. Um, he, he he asked, when will the option parts be available to the rest of us that purchased one of these? <laughs> <laughs> the purchase. Actually, sorry, I miss I misread. When will the option parts be available to the rest of us 18 that purchased? Oh my gosh. One? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only option part that was not available at time of release was the steering axle. Everything else was available. So if it hasn't shipped, I think it's just a matter of processing time. Right. Yeah, I, I saw a lot were actually like out of stock already on the website. Yeah. So does that mean that people ordered them on mass and already could be sold you sold already sold out of them? Could be, yeah, it could be. Yeah. I can't so disclose there are more than 18, Tony. Yeah, I can't disclose MOQs or anything like that or or quantity sold or anything, but that's fine. Yeah, not, yeah, not to asking. Totally could to. be that that's exactly what happened. Like I have okay. no idea. So my department is build stuff, not sell it. Like uh Tony, check your local hobby store. They may actually have some of them. I've got uh, uh one guy saying here that uh, they have them in his hobby shop. So what, what did he not get? Uh he didn't get anything because he he uh you know Matt noted this on his review today of the Element SE, but I just noticed I pulled this one off and I noticed that the motor wires are reversed red to black, red to black on here, reversing for the portal gearing, I'm guessing. I'm what I'm guessing yeah. at the same time, though, that the sealed can motor is probably timed in reverse as well, right? I don't there's. I don't think so. No, I think the motor is just stock. That's that motor is exactly out of something uh, else. The the Yeti Junior Can Am. Gotcha. It's the same motor. So it may spin a little bit faster in reverse than it does forward. I don't believe there's any timing in the motor. Hmm. I don't think so. Okay. And usually we try to stay away from that in the yeah. in the rock crawling yeah, segment. I, we try to do. I gotta say I didn't notice zero. it going any faster in reverse. Yeah. I didn't so. either. I didn't drive in reverse at speed though. So. 
Yeah. That's well, just, that's just, you know, when you points. hit all the lines perfectly, Josh, you don't need I know, to use it, which I have so. to remember that not everybody can. And it's hard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I've, I've, I've watched Josh's video. It's, it's pretty bad. Did you watch my video? I did. I was impressed. Actually, I was impressed by both. You, you guys pulled some pretty cool lines that I was like, hey, yeah, that's, that's doing good. You know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little it's biased fun. because it's... yours had these giant tires on it and stuff already. But <laughs> yeah, but the foams are too hard. Didn't get any grip out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, yes. The uh, it's it's kind of cool to just to see when you open this thing up, and it does just look like a mini capper transmission. Now, what I haven't checked is I haven't done the math on the gear ratio here to see to see where that is. It the same? <laughs> is it's it, top secret? Is it is it better top than secret. the one tenth capper was? <laughs> It's top secret. I was geared a little high. <laughs> yeah, that one may have uh, <laughs> something. That one did seem a little something. Did seem a little speedy. Something slipped through the map. <laughs> a, little, a little spry, <laughs> I would say. Being very generous, seems I wouldn't like know it, anymore. Mine yeah, doesn't have the stock yeah, transmission seems, in it anymore. Yeah, seems like it could do crop dusting pretty well. Huh? Yeah, exactly. If anyone needs a stock capper transmission, I believe I have one in this box here. Yeah. And I, I think in, in all of my testing, guys, I probably maybe broke one axle housing in, in all the destructive testing that I was doing. Um, you know, like I said, it's pretty it, good. It, yeah, I mean, it, it will break. It's plastic. But, I guess I'm, um, I'm kind of, I guess I am actually I surprised that the axle housing would break. I, I could have seen like a top portal gear breaking because of the, the square drive and how close the teeth are yep. to everything. Um, yep. Yeah. But the axle housings, I mean, for the size, it's got a truss that goes from corner to corner. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess I'm I'm kind of surprised, but it broke out on one of the ends. But again, I got some pretty big ledges out here in San Hollow to roll things off yeah. of. So. Yeah. No, that's a that's actually that's pretty uh, cool there. I'm sizing up some straight axles to maybe put on there. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's just trying. <laughs> Uh, I did miss one from uh, Team Garage. I'm hoping the underdrive <laughs> portal gear I have coming has enough meat between the square drive and the root of the teeth to not detonate. Overdrive. We both made the same mistake there. Overdrive. Uh, yeah, we we do not make an unless he is making <laughs> unless Team Garage Hack is saying that he has one on the way that he's making. Uh, Perry G, thank you. Uh, Randall, Josh is new, <laughs> so you have to explain things like shock tuning. <laughs> 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 and tgh again would you say the performance and competitive sector helps identify components that provide both performance upgrade and what may be desired like as far as what people do in the aftermarket like does that help you decide what you want to do as you yes. release new cars yes absolutely and and i mean this car was already done and, and produced but i did go to um my first comp crawl what a month ago i think the, yep. the one josh you couldn't make when you were sick um and i hadn't been to one of those in a long time and i borrowed a i borrowed one of our engineers car white's car and competed in my first moa comp in i don't know how long it's been but um i was about middle of the pack but they had the, the 10 scale the supers and and the minis and it was really cool i hadn't really done a lot of investigating into that and i was quite impressed to to get back into that and check it out it is it was it how was many really, eight-year-old girls were competing <laughs> they were they were all in comp stance and i was up above them so i yeah. didn't even see them <laughs> towering oh, above man. that's uh Dude. the comp side is so i'm so mad that i wasn't able to go like just I so yeah, you'll have to play with your robot on a rock somewhere else I, right? yeah exactly <laughs> robot over rocks I, I don't argue that one bit because it and that's what happened to the segment a long, long time ago. And that's where Axial shifted to just scale wheeling. And Axial um, made, because, you know, they had the they had the base to be able to make the uh, make the change easily at the time. Yeah. They're just like, no, we're just kind of done with this, and we're focusing on what we already have going on here. Yeah, we and we used to have West Coast Championship, yep. and then we switched to Axial Fest. Yeah, same. Yep. That's what uh, Axial Fest started as West the West Coast yeah. Championship, which was the qualifier yeah. for yeah, Nationals. Guys running around as superheroes and all kinds of <laughs> captain <stuff>. axial yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or was it axial man i don't remember i think it was captain axial uh, 
Uh, it was Captain Axial. Probably was Captain Axial, 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 but you <laughs> might as well call it Axial Man. <laughs> Blank Man and Axial Man are together at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. <laughs> Who remembers yeah, Blank? No, right. That was good. I've, I've really, really liked the car. Um, I, I hope it does well in the market. Um, everybody I've handed one to to drive at my house, they've, they've loved the car. Um, there's obviously room for improvement. We kind of, I kind of like to build that in. Like, I, you know, we're, we're on a time frame, so we can only make it so good before we have to move on to the next phase. But I like to leave room for improvement for people just to personalize it the way that they want. Um, a lot of my projects are, are that way. Some are good, some are not so good, but you know, it's, it's really cool to see how the market, the industry, all the consumers accept it and then what they do to them, which gives us more ideas down the road to just make more products that are cool. Yeah. I mean, at least Speaking you left room for Turbo plenty of servo. He wants to know why you recommend cutting the bump stops off if they're there. Like, why would you not? Why? Why wouldn't you put them? Take them off? Or because if there's rubbing, even there? because if there's rubbing issues from the tire to the frame or the body or the shock springs, they're going to complain about that. Yeah. Right. So that it's, that is a common and, thing. If, yeah. if there's yeah. anything that it, touches, this is happens. like a little I mean, tiny performance boost by removing them. Yeah. But yeah. you might rub the body up against, or the tire up yeah. against the yeah, shock those, or the body like or point six tires or something. Oh I my mean, god, these are four one nines, and I'm not running them anymore. <laughs> yeah, Matt was doing his Tony impression. Yeah. <laughs> Monster truck. And... I thought it looked pretty cool. The most people who saw it also agree with that. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, hey, look, <clears throat> yeah, it, it looked pretty cool. And look at the the one nine Capra, the four wheel steer Capra, or even when it wasn't four wheel steer, everybody complained about the ride height. And yep. then they also added two two size tires yes, on exactly. shorter shocks, so it kept it, you know, low and mean. S the smart shorter. ones did. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, Randall, those are your customers. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Not anymore. <laughs> the uh, I, the one problem with this car and these type of cars in general is ease of maintenance. Yeah. Of, and it's, it kind of goes hand in hand just with a caged car like this. Uh, Very much so. And they're... This one's not too bad because there's just two screws on each side to pull the skid plate out, and then you, you can you know pull the shocks off, and then at least you can you can drop it out. But it's still not all that easy. And man, there is a lot of wires up in that cavity. It just <laughs> holy cow! Just, there, there's a lot going on in just there. So peanut butter and jammed in there. Just just all right, put well, the top on, screw it together, <laughs> like. I'll ad I'll admit something. <laughs> the the lead the battery lead from the ESC to the battery yeah was an afterthought. Oh, it's too short. You need to plug in the first uh, time. It was. It was. Yeah, I had everything. <laughs> we had it all set up and built, and I went. I'm like, <laughs> Wait a oh <second>. man. <laughs> You had to do one of the oh, down, peri down the periscope right moments. Here. Like, like this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even think about it. And then we got everything all set up, prototyped, and just forgot about the battery lead on the ESC and was like, oh, no, <laughs> that's not good. How do we get it over there? Oh, Oopsie. yeah. Let's. Uh, uh... And it had. It had. Uh, I don't have it out here, but it we actually even had the ESC box flipped 180. So the ESC was on the back of the car at first. Oh, so like you, you can't do it. Oh, gotcha. Yes. It was. Yeah. You, you right. cannot do it now. But when we the first prototype we had, it was mounted on the outside in the back. Got it. I could. Yeah, I, I got you there. It, it is. It does look nice that it's enclosed now. Um, and then yeah. you were able to do just the. <laughs> the the wiring treatment that <laughs> it's all in here it just you went you went full OCD well, uh, for sure like I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna make a note and I'm gonna <laughs> add it to my quality control list that I need to re clean I need to clean up the wiring 
and then pass that yeah. on to the vendors. There so is a can get it. There is a lot of her job. All the lights and everything that's in there. I get it. There's a lot of leads going on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going yeah. on in there. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's nice. It's it's a nice tight little package though. A yeah, nice job. That's what she said. Yeah, I was like mm, leaving that alone. That's <laughs> <laughs> just. I, uh, on that note, <laughs> well, guys. On that box. So fun. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, with you, Randall. Thank you. Yeah. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I think, thanks for more. reviewing the car. I, I really appreciate it. I, I like being in the show with you guys whenever I have a new project coming out. So um, when uh, when are you coming on next? <laughs> end of Just January. remind us what day it was. Yeah. In, in, in the, I don't know. January, February, somewhere around that time. Probably. January and probably. February. <laughs> All right. Probably. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> it's, man, we, we've, it, I know you guys know we, we've talked about it off camera or whatever, and, and most people do know that it's, we're busy. The, yeah. the, the developers and us product, our, us product developers and the engineers are constantly working on something new, and you have to juggle it and time it to where we can keep coming out with newer, better stuff. You know, oh, oh, your that camera. Thirty minutes. Your camera. Almost time to go. <laughs> yeah, and I promise next time I'll have a camera that actually doesn't look like that. <laughs> hey, I think it's fine. <laughs> Was it that way last time too? No, nope. I don't think no. so. Okay, I mean, not that I remember, but probably not. It was probably a different camera. The uh... Uh, Chris Barr, thanks very much. Final question: uh, Why the SLT protocol no bind to DX5 rugged? Um, great question. Um, what you're going to see is uh, SLT is more cost friendly. Um, we won't have controllers. You won't see controllers that I'm aware of that will be controllers that are dual protocol, uh, but you will see receivers that become dual protocol. So you can buy a DX controller and bind it. Um, what you'll, what you see here, what happens is a lot of times we don't have something particularly ready to where this two and one ESC receiver can be dual protocol, but it is something that we're kind of trying to progress through. Um, and you most likely will not see any of those other controllers you guys showed earlier that, that were identicals. Um, ah, everything that, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Everything that we should be doing in the future, uh, we're trying to work towards doing SLT and, and the DX stuff. So, yeah, that's I, I do trying to, trying to make it easy. I do like that SLT on yeah. this one. It's just a comfortable radio. Yeah, this is a good, yeah. nice, comfortable radio. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Easy to do one handed. I, I like if I if I get a new car and it's got a controller where I can't thumb steer, I, I'm in real trouble because my running videos aren't going to be nearly as good. The you can use my my uh, downloadable files yeah. to give you the thumb steer, Matt. Yeah, uh, or or yeah, if you okay. have a, do you have a DX3 controller with a thumb steer? Oh yeah, the one that came with the bomber. That'll bolt on. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, I believe that bolts on. I tested yeah, that. Okay, uh, that's for the small thumbed people of the world. Yeah. Uh, all right. You see a SLT3. You could bind an SLT3 controller to a to this car. Yep. So. Awesome. Good stuff. Thanks, Randall. Thanks, Randall. We'll, uh, Thanks. We'll harass Thanks for you. watching Flying Cars, yes. too. Really appreciate that. We look forward to harassing <laughs> you in January. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you again in January. Or something, yeah. When that 4x4 four four <laughs> something comes out. Uh, I think it's a 6x6. <laughs> six six. Six. You said four uh, wheels, four tires. Six. No bullshit in that. Yeah, it's a 6x6 it's a, six six Land Rover Defender. <laughs> I don't know. No. no, sorry. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Thank you very much for having me on the Thank show. Thank you, Randall. Thanks for hanging out with us, Randall. See you, everybody. <laughs> Bye. You're back. We're back yeah. to just the two of us again. This is the show goes right downhill. Right, exactly. Oh, get so big again. You're huge. Stop. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> good stuff. Oh, so man. that was great. Uh, lots of lots of fun with that. Lots uh, of fun to to this, harass Randall about as always. Yeah, always. I I, uh, I think I that go kick for bringing him on here. My guess is that we're going to start seeing uh, more and more of these cost focused or cost area focused cars. The yeah, two hundred. No, 
I'm, I don't I, I don't think that that's a no duh thing. We've been cars have been getting in like you started to see a lot more at the five ninety five hundred to yeah, six hundred. No, 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 no. This is what's happening, man. You're getting a much you're getting a much larger spread between low the low cost but still good quality RC mm-hmm. hobby grade stuff and then the high end stuff. The middle ground is what's shrinking. Yeah. There's a lot fewer choices in that sort of middle ground. You're getting the, you know, thousand dollar toys and then mm-hmm. the hundred and fifty dollar toys. And yep. that's just that's satisfying, unfortunately. It, it's kind of you know, I don't even want to get into this, but it's I, yeah. It's I know I know exactly yeah, what you're You know mean. what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> it's yeah. I I so I expect that we'll see, you know, this this is two fifty, the new element three hundred. I think that the that three hundred and fifty and less range is going to be that's going to explode over the next it's year. Be I'd a say. Lot. I think that people are going to have to catch up to like the element style of cutting, cutting, cutting to get to that. I think we're going to mm-hmm. see a lot more of it. Yeah, it's, and then Moose Jaw or makes we're going to start point. seeing different says, scales. Yeah, you'll see different scales. You'll see lower budget options, which Moose Jaw thinks should help hobby shops sell more upgrade parts which is actually great for the hobby because it keeps those stores open yes i I mean upgrade part and hobby shops that will stock them is the hope Mm, that's always the problem we i'm lucky Mm -hmm. with great hobby shops i've yeah you are very lucky i've lived i've got some really great ones too but our our just our market our demographic is so much smaller that it just cannot support a store and that carries all brands I sh- of everything. I should, yeah, rephrase that as well. I've lived in places that didn't have the market to support stores stocking that stuff because it's expensive to just have it there when one guy a month comes in to buy one part. So, yep. you know, it's, and yeah, like, you know, the, the money is not made in selling these. It's selling the upgrades. So selling the at, parts. Least, at least not to the, uh, yeah, it, so... Yeah. Turbo TT makes a good point, though. He, he says, "My mine all start at 400 but are $1,000 by the time I'm done. Or you build a monthly Mayhem car, and you spend mm, maybe $2,000. And it doesn't even go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. <laughs> yeah. But you see, it was expensive. It was expensive. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh yeah that's uh that's you know it's an interesting thing and i'm looking forward to this as much as it is a weird size compared to other items you know like we yes. talked about on our live stream on friday it's just like these are 18th scale supposedly well uh, yeah in name only right <laughs> this this is this is truly 118th scale based on the wheelbase that's yeah. about as close to 18 scales you can get. This I don't even know. No, like, that's the, not an 18 scale the, man. The Capra is is definitely not 18 scale. And, <laughs> no, uh, we should we could have talked to Randall more about that. He and I had a conversation on the phone about it, um, which was pretty interesting. I don't know how much of it is is tellable, but um, I don't know. I I, I guess so, the mini stuff is oftentimes not my favorite, which. It, you know, everyone's going to have a lot of people only like fifth scale RC cars. It's whatever. Uh, this one didn't give me that same mini feel. No, it didn't because um, it's quite capable. And for, it's damn near know? scale. <laughs> 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 you know what? For an 18 scale, I really like this thing. Like This well. is really super capable because it uses the same size tires as my um, 10 scale stuff. <laughs> cool <laughs> check it out josh way more capable than any other class zero out there <laughs> would you call it closer to 12 scale matt you have that yeah. 12 scale fms i do indeed it's not in here right now but that is is not 12 scale either it's oh it's what is it for scale <laughs> how does it compare in size to this it's comical 
You want me to go get it? Yes, go get it. I'd like to All see right, it. Okay, go get it. Um, I had missed a couple. Uh, I did miss one from Team Garage Hack again. Uh, you, uh, you made a mistake. I spoke to the future. I, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. So underdrive gear option, Team Garage Hack is saying or hinting at. And Big Jim, he was asking Randall, any hints on the future releases? Big Jim. Uh, like scale or timing. We did try and get all of those things out of him, so I apologize that I didn't ask him that, but we pr I tried to pry those things out as much as I could. Here, it's a hint. Quick hints, quick jabs. We got something from Randall coming end of January. I think he said January. But who February. knows? He could have just been lying. He's not lying. He's not that good. No, he's not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there, there you go. Back, Back up. Or put it in front of your face. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> Top one, 18th scale. Bottom one, 12th scale. <laughs> yeah. I tried putting a six-inch man in here, and he did not fit. I was like, hmm, that's weird. Oh, that's because it's not 12th scale. <laughs> it's a nice-looking model, but. Oh. Um, Sorry, go for it. I would not um I would not say it's a good crawler. No. Uh yeah. It looks fantastic. Like they did an amazing job. You know, all the doors that open and everything. Tailgate and reverse lights and leaf springs and all the cool stuff. But it does not drive well. Yeah. That's like the twelve scale Jimny from FMS. Looked great, super cool, detailed drives terrible gets stuck on the tiniest little it's it, it's infuriating to drive um yeah ecto sports who is randall pointed out uh the utb 18 didn't get leaked that's correct it did not get leaked do you know that, why do you know why because it didn't go out to anybody until it was out because everybody got it like four days after it was released <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that Axio was trying to surprise themselves and not leak it. Like, <laughs> hey, you know that YouTube? Release it now! Like, what? We haven't leaked put it, it yet. Out, put it out. Put oh, it out. Put it out there. We haven't even put a leak out. Like, up. Oh, it's on. It's for sale. Now what? <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Psych. Got you good. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Math is hard. Uh, who? Patina guy's saying. It's 12.875 scale. Which one, though, Patina Guy? The Defender? I think maybe he's... I don't know. I don't know. He might be talking I'm pretty about sure FMS, but I don't think Richard. Right. <clears throat> Richard told me it's 14 scale, and I'm going to believe Richard because he knows every number about every Toyota that's ever existed, ever. I believe that. So, much respect, but... But no. Richard but Richard. Yeah, you've been jerped. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you've been turked. <laughs> Turks are the Toyotas, jerps are Jeeps. But he does everything backwards, so touche. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. No. <laughs> this is my video. I had so much best fun. Best video. So much fun His watching video. His video was the best. Yeah, he, his was uh, the best. He is not invited back immediately, disqualified, but still a great video why is he disqualified because i don't know uh, uh specifically said in the rules <laughs> he, used that, the, uh, he used the right gnss that graveyard speed runs were not allowed there's <laughs> <laughs> he only did one though you said runs oh that's they true only did one ah, there. semantics i agree yeah. the uh, but now he used a gnss so... he did use a gn he did follow the rules he the, bought uh, that just for this I accept. Yeah. Now, I do have to question. I got this question on my Instagram stories today. Like, do you think Richard crashed that truck on purpose? I'm like, I don't know. Because his final run, like, he was still I'll, in the throttle anyway. all the way. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's at himself and he turns. And the road ends in 15 feet. But, Josh... That's how I used to drive those things. <laughs> I would just pin it and hope for the best. So I, was... <laughs> I, because he told me at the very beginning, he's like, I don't think I'm going to 
go crazy with this because I still want to have a Phoenix at the end of this challenge so I can build something with that. And so my guess is, no, he fully was just, it to win it. He was he got just so enthralled in his head that challenge. he forgot about the slowdown part. I think he probably also thought that maybe it would just be like a smooth transition to grass. It had to get six feet in the air. <laughs> there was so he had much... the most spectacular crash of anybody. That's for sure. I mean, if I was going to think who was going to get the most air, he was not on my list. Who would you have put first? Tony. <laughs> Immediately. Because he would have jumped it off of a ramp. Yeah. To try to do one of those standing backflip things. Yeah, he'd, he'd do that, and then he tried to put it on its side and drive it in a circle, and, you know. He'd be doing all that stupid ass, like. Yeah, trying to be pull a, a KLN Nation uh, move whatever for, for Instagram. Do whatever this truck is. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, I mean, I saw that <laughs> record. J. Rogers says it folded like a taco. Oh, yes, my. it did. Yeah, I for the speed that's not far off because he ended up 54. with fifty four, right? So that's only six miles per hour less than I fully committed my TRX six to the curb with. Yeah. So not surprised it it bent that poorly. I mean, <coughs> very very impressive. Uh, yeah, to, to see that was. to see that fold, I was just like, oh, okay. And then I assume that was his fiance in the truck. Yes. <laughs> and I just, like, her, I her response was my favorite thing. It, Cause it was like a mom telling their kid, like <laughs> you're done playing outside. Like, I think it's done. Like we can go home now. Like just her tone was just like, I think it's done. Like, okay. I think we can leave. <laughs> The divot in the grass was pretty impressive too. Yeah, uh, yeah. that and just his uh, his reaction to it, just like, uh, uh. <laughs> like not a real descriptive thing. He's just kind of like pointing no. at it, just like a piece of grass. Just very American beauty of him. Just <laughs> <laughs> Matt Romero said his speed was from those spins in the air. <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> I'd like to see the uh, the G the G forces on that. Yeah, on that that would be kind of funny. Oh man, uh, that was uh, his crash. Tony's summoning of eagles was also pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> My um, genuine joy. I think I, I was pretty happy. Your with happy that. dance of the. <laughs> yes, yes. I was so yeah. happy for myself. Also, it was great. Your Complete waste of a beautiful runway. I know, I know. Both of you. I actually and yeah, because K-pop didn't even get his running. He did yeah. not even drive it on the airstrip at all. And his jumping around in the back of you while <laughs> you're filming. I'm trying to be serious, and all of a sudden he's like, <laughs> "Oh, amazing!" Running across frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, all in all, it was a great challenge. It was really fun to watch everybody's videos, and uh, I'm uh, uh, I'm pleased that we all um, participated and got through it, and yeah, made some really great content that made for some very entertaining uh, hours I was, spent. I think that uh, in the end, would you still do one one hour, or would you rather do a build video and a run video? Um. Build video and run video. I think so, too. I think that yeah. is how I would like to see the next one broken up. Yeah, definitely. Even if we, even if, uh, even if it's all done at once, like we all have to do it, do the video, and then do the run video. And that we can space them out the whole deal. Yeah, but for sure. That way, we, you know, no one gets the, like, ooh, that was a good idea. I'm going to change this up before the runs. Right. But... That way it splits them up. The uh, the effort I think that it we takes have to, to make edit a it. Couple. Is, oh is, yeah, there's so much so much work, especially when you leave it all to the end. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like somebody. 
<laughs> this ding dong. Yeah. Um, no, but I think there's some there's some things I would probably change if we were going to do it that way. It's something I would have changed this time too. The car that gets entered into the viewer's choice uh -huh. is the car that has to run. I would also I would also change that rule because I think people people took some opportunities oh. between the time that we had the viewer's choice and the final end of the competition sure. to change their vehicles gotcha should be gotcha. like let's cap it like this is the last thing you can do to the car oh, art, art here says game. viewers choice should be post run ah interesting I, so we're yeah, all 100 like percent done we do the viewers choice that gets tagged on yes brilliant brilliant marred give that man a prize marred and mangled cages doesn't matter that uh yeah, yeah. what you that, see is what you get that would that would be a good way to do it i agree i like that i like that a lot actually i can just oh that would be some serious foreshadowing richard's car sitting on the bench and this this <laughs> it's just this banana <laughs> or even better even better do all the runs do your final video with your final posted speed, then do the viewer's choice based on whatever photo you want. Ah, an action shot or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is, whether it's an action shot, uh, your mangled mess, or the beauty shot that you wanted to f first submit before you drove it. You know, like <laughs> that way sure. the speed gets tacked on after the fact, after all the running's already been done. So nobody yeah. knows who gets the bonus. Right, right. No, I, that it makes sense. I think that because I, be to be fair, I went in going sixty-seven is going to be pretty good because I had the bonus. I was like, sixty-seven is going to be pretty good. It's not going to be the bottom. Probably won't be the top, but I'm comfortable with that. Had I not known, I definitely like that Saturday night. I would have been like, "F it," and I would have gone to the hobby shop. I would have bought new stuff. I would have said, "Screw work, screw wife, screw everything." I'm going out and running more. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could see that. Um yeah, that makes sense. I think those a couple of mods like that would be would be solid. Um I think it would help yeah. alleviate some of the ban ban send cut send. No, we won't be doing that. That's ridiculous. Josh has those tools at yeah. home and Other... cut all of his own carbon fiber. How am I gonna do that? How can I possibly compete with that? It took time out of my build schedule to get those parts designed and then sent and then cut and then sent back to me. I lost four or five days each time I did that. So no, send, cut, send stays in. Send, cut, send is like an equalizer. Yeah, it doesn't level the playing field by removing it. Get out yeah. of here. <laughs> it just benefits That's me ridiculous. more. <laughs> yeah. Even if I couldn't use my CNC, I still have a pretty good <laughs> yeah. access to some pretty good tools. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And everyone, everyone can use it. It's not like nobody can't use it. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing. It's not like it was like a bonus for me just because I had it. It it was it was an equalizer in that it allowed me to do the same things that Josh could do. I, I said it right at the beginning, I'm joshing this competition and I joshed the heck out of it, in my right. opinion. And I still you know, designed everything, too. And I'm not like not defending my choice. This was just always something that I talked about doing. Not like it was a surprise and to anyone. The, the whole thing with like the people who thought Tony's argument was actually real about <laughs> about like having that part done. It's the same thing as like I draw a part and I hit print on my 3D printer. Like it does the work too. I'm just having yeah, a laser exactly. that's not in my room do it. <laughs> yeah, it, precisely. Y'all definitely cheated in the competition having stuff done for you. No, yeah. I don't see it that way at all. The amount of time I spent designing the chassis more yeah. than for more than makes up for me using a service <laughs> where I had to pay and get it sent and it still took time to get it done. Yeah. The uh... joshed everything except the battery. <laughs> <laughs> <Dang it. laughs> yeah. You guys can argue it all you want, but nobody else had a problem with it except the king of RC. <laughs> right. Which was a joke. <laughs> yeah, he's a character guy. He knows that that's not <laughs> I'd send my parts to Tony for welding. 
<laughs> his fab portion of his video was ex- my one of my favorite parts is something it's because we've you you'll do it as like a fabric he, he he's welding it starts the car on fire which happens but you can see if you go back in his video he sees that it catches on fire in his mask and he goes he goes tries to blow it out he goes but he's got the hood on. <laughs> he's still got a full hood on. Oh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that was. All right. Uh, we kind of could probably talk about Mayhem again. And I, I, I am still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to do a follow-up video. I don't feel like I actually need to. Yeah, um, I started to film one last night. And then I stopped midway. And I was just like. I didn't like how it was yeah. being, I didn't like how it was going. Like, it's, cause I was trying to go in yeah. depth on design stuff and I'm just like, ah, it's so hard to like, just be like, all right. And then go over the whole thing of design. Yeah. It's like, I could yeah. do a 20 minute like video did, on each of the portions of that thing. If you want to see that, uh, that car, um, in its entirety, I did a what's on the bench last week, all about it. So you can watch. That. I do want to get my forged carbon side pods on there, mm. but that's one of the, my, my only thing I want to get the rear wing repaired, put those forged carbon side pods on and just pinion up. I never adjusted gearing once on that thing. Wow. I just, I what should... was your, your final gear? I remember your final gear being very theoretically high. Yeah. It was geared to do. Like a hundred. Like one, one hundred and something like more. I think it like was a, like 130 now it's like miles a hundred and thirty miles an hour. It's like a hundred and six or seven or something. something. So it was up there. I could <laughs> Dave forty one thirty. Did he just call the king a joke? <laughs> Lord uh, Far okay, Mr. Lord Farquad over there is <laughs> Mr. Paper plays. Uh, you guys have any 54 to 56 millimeter 1.0 wheels and tire recommendations? Oh, uh, no. Nope. Ooh, I oh. don't. Oh, 1.0. I was like, wait, 54 mil? Like that's barely the size of the wheel. I don't. I don't have any off the top of my head. You're getting a TRX4M and would love some recos. Well, they have aftermarket wheels and tires that work for their car truck why do i it's like i've been hanging out with josh too much yes it's it, their cars this is a car it's an automobile <laughs> listen unless it's an 18 wheeler in the traffic world it's considered a car i mean the wrangler mtr is a 55 inch or 55 millimeter tire that's and a one point oh. So you'll get bonus and points. And it is my there favorite. Too. So you get bonus points. That is a one point oh, so maybe that one. So if Try I that uh, one. if I make this make a little chassis for this map. Yeah, stretch the wheelbase, I mean, of course. Would you like the chassis to be three D printable or do you want it to be cut? Ooh. I feel like if I make a three D printable one, I just distribute it. And then, but, uh, I feel like for, um, um, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and just simplicity. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, the spammers are in full force. Um, better report that one. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think for simplicity for other people, print, but I'll take a cut one. Yeah. Yep, I think so as well. Yeah. Why not? But I think once I cut the uh, flares and the top and all that off of this thing, it'll make for a fun little, fun little putt around. <laughs> you know, there's a really nice CJ conversion for that body that I would probably do again. Oh, is there? Mm-hmm. Is it, it's the hood and, and, uh, oh, yeah. Yep. And it's 3D printed, I assume. No. No. Resin. Oh, that might not be so bad. Yeah. It, I've done it twice. It looks really good. 
Well, All right. Uh, yeah. It's 11.15, so we're going to say goodnight now. And yep. thank you to the following. Gunnar Nissen, uh, that, oh, we forgot to mention Vanquish Products uh, sponsoring this. Oh, uh, supposed yeah. to tag myself, uh, Josh, and Vanquish in a post on Instagram. You'll be entered to randomly win Wheels of Fortune. Is that what you decided? Um, possibly. Yes, possibly. I think, okay. Yeah. We'll, uh, but we do have a code. Oh yeah, the code. That's right. If you want hangers on or still here, only be the first twenty-five people to use it. Now, if you have a discount already on the website, it will not work. Or it shouldn't work. Right. If it did, it'll just be refunded. But for the non-Black Friday special stuff, I believe it's going to be HD SBG Live. There's your code. Ready, go. 25 people. What's the code? HD SBG Live. One Boom. word. There you go, 25 of you. Uh, thanks to Gunnar Nissen, Wrapped Graphics, Blind Guy RC, Chuck's RC Habit, The RC Underdog, Matt Burnett, Chuck's RC Habit again, Chris Barr, Stretch, CCXRC, and Chris Barr. Thanks, everybody. Thank you to, I gotta scroll up, Scott O'Blander, Hazad, three. CCXRC, Blind Guy RC, KC Crawler, Jeremiah Salberg, Joker510714, One Bear Ends, Eric Baker, Team Garage Hack, Perry G, Big Jim. Thank Thanks, you, everybody. Everybody, have a See you Friday. See you Friday. Be sure to watch What's on the Bench Live tomorrow. Oh, it's a live one. one tomorrow. Oh, sorry. What's on the Bench Weekly? I was mm. going to say, it was. Is it done already? I'm, I'm very sick. Yes. All right. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great night, everybody. Love you. Bye.